Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Veterans Day. So today is a special holiday that we have in America to honor the men and women who have signed up for our armed services. The armed services, that's the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, and our National Guard. When they sign up, they are signing up to be our soldiers so that if there is anything that were to happen to America or in other places around the world, they would go and they would fight for our country. I told you yesterday that my father was a veteran. So were my uncles, pretty much all my uncles actually, now that I think about it, were veterans. Um, my Uncle Charlie, my dad's brother, my Uncle Bob, who married my aunt, my Uncle Sam, and my Uncle David. They were all veterans. My Uncle David was in the Navy for, I think, 30 years and retired as a Navy captain. My Uncle Sam was in both the Army and the Navy. He signed up twice. So I have a very deep history with people who are in the armed services. Both of my grandfathers were also in the service. And every year at this time, it's a special time when I just tell my family thank you for what they have been willing to do. I think the thing that always affects me about our veterans is the bravery and the willingness because being in the service can be very dangerous to your life. It can also be something that takes you away from your families. My cousin's husband was in the army when she was pregnant with her son. He almost missed his child being born because he was having to go over to another country. But and luckily, the baby was born. So why, why it was born before Josh left the United States. So he got to fly home and be there when Wyatt was born, but then as soon as Wyatt was born, he had to leave and he was gone for most of a year. Can you imagine missing all that time with your family? So our soldiers, you know, they make a sacrifice. They leave their families behind if needed and they're promising that they would give their lives if situations were dangerous. And for that reason, I am very thankful to our veterans and I appreciate that sacrifice, that willingness to give to our country. And so Veterans Day is an important holiday in my family. There is a video, and it's the Rogers video. We have some of you showing up in that video. So make, sh make sure you watch it. You might wanna watch it with a grown up because they can tell you um, what some of the words say. Then I have a video that was recorded last year from Kid History. It was recorded on the 100th anniversary of Veterans Day, but this year it's the 101st anniversary. And then I have a picture of a poppy. A lot of people who served in the armed services, they didn't give their lives, but in some ways were injured. We have hospitals around our country that take care of our veterans who have been hurt. And there are lots of ways that veterans work to earn money to take care of those hospitals. And one way is they make these poppies. And there's a picture of one of the poppies they make. And they give those away. And then people will donate money to go to the veteran causes. So we're going to be making a poppy today that looks like this. It's not the same as the one the veterans make, but you can either wear it or hang it somewhere to help you remember that today is Veterans Day. Let's see if I'm forgetting something. I think that's it, but if you have not talked to your family to see if you have veterans in your family, you should. I bet there's probably a grandpa or a grandma or an aunt or an uncle or someone who was in the service in your family, if not your parents. And I hope you have a great day. Take the time to think about those who serve in our armed forces. 
and I will see you later. Bye.